the metals quadrant, gold is a very interesting story. Closed above 1300 today, up only about a half of 1%. But this is a close above 1300 for the first time since March 27. And that was on the way down with gold. We got above there yesterday, 1302 and change on the high, but they came down back below it for the close. Psychological level, yes, but critical for a number of reasons because the breakdown after getting through 1300 was as much fundamental as it was technical. Geopolitics is part, is part of it as always. There's a lot going on with the tensions increasing in Libya, nearing a civil war. The Mueller report due to be released, a redacted version, but still it's going to be released next week according to Attorney General Barr. And central bankers are propping up gold, propping up gold talking about easier policies really across the globe. So there's a lot going on geopolitically. And then, of course, we don't have a U.S.-China trade deal yet, which could be part of it as well, even though the optimism is there. And there's been some rhetoric between the U.S. and Europe as well. All of that giving gold a little bit of a lift. I wouldn't call it a bull trend by any stretch, but getting above 1300 is kind of critical. And then the inverse relationship between gold and the dollar. The dollar is weaker for a second consecutive session, and the dollar index is close to triggering a second wave lower. There's a level 96, 96 and a quarter. So on your chart, it would look like 96 spot 962 that if we get a daily close below that is a triggered technically perfect double top and that will trigger a move down into the mid 96 area for the dollar index taking us further away from what people see as that sort of pivot pivot level on the dollar index which is really about 97 dollars and by pivot i just mean extended bull market or a correction of what's been a strong dollar so the weaker the dollar is the more likely you see a tailwind behind gold and a continued move up in the precious metal.